I know that we're in the Call of Duty Black Ops craze, but one thing that I wanted to talk about regarding Modern Warfare 3 before we left it, and this really has to do with Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Warzone, but our main topic of conversation is, you guessed it, Commander Graves. Now, I know that we talk about Commander Graves here quite a bit, but it's because I really like the character. And not only do I like the character, but I like to just explore as much as I can regarding Modern Warfare, Warzone, Black Ops, and all its characters. But for today's video, it's not anything to do about lore but it's really about the gross misuse of commander graves by call of duty now i think that's a rough statement and it can be maybe maybe it can sound exaggerated but i do think that commander graves was grossly misused since his introduction what we get in modern warfare 2 it's a very well written character a very well executed character a character that blurred the lines between what was good what was bad a character that deceived many of us overall you get a badass american marine who is now the owner of the shadow company a private military company and he is definitely up there with one of the better new call of duty characters you could put him in the bracket of the new captain price with barry sloan russell adler and then you can have commander graves so he is definitely one of the better characters that call of duty has ever created and especially now in the new era of cod and so he was so popular and so cool and he just became beloved by many and hated by many that call of duty seemed to have to revert their decision to kill him now they left it open-ended when he supposedly died in modern warfare 2 in the tank explosion we never saw his body we never saw him inside of the tank so yeah it was always sketchy from the start but many people believe that they went back on their decision to really kill him because of his popularity and so call of duty maybe saw a cash cow maybe call of duty saw a way to exploit this character to ruin this character right and they didn't even do that they didn't even exploit him correctly they didn't even make him a cash cow correctly because graves is so loved by so many people that they brought him back for modern warfare 3 in a really really dumb way and they misused him in the campaign for mw3 because his presence wasn't really addressed all that much and he came towards the latter part of the game maybe appearing in the last hour and a half of the game to be honest and he only appeared for a split second in a video call with shepherd then we get a cheap cinematic with him meeting farah and the team at an airbase and then we see him turning on shepherd it was just awfully misused and it almost didn't remind me of the commander graves from modern warfare 2 in mw3 he just seemed like he was there but he didn't really know why he was there and i think he was just misused and i think that has to do a lot with just modern warfare 3 in general it's pacing it's writing it's story uh we know that it was terrible uh when it comes to the campaign and so i wouldn't expect them to handle character like graves with any love or any care because maybe they were on a time crunch who knows what the hell actually happened and so then you look at him in call of duty warzone we're up for dust off we're up in three mics let's move there you are we got the green light you're going to the war zone grab your gear and shoot you're up in three you are cleared hot on all threats watch your ass down there they put him as the operator who sends you on your way at the beginning of every war zone match was that the right thing to do for a character so popular for a character so beloved at first it might have been very cool but when you don't update the sayings when you don't update the area when you leave it like that for months and months and months on end don't you think people are gonna get tired of head shit gave the green light there you are you know what I mean? Like, he says the same things over and over again. And even I, who really enjoy Graves, it gets tiring to hear the same sayings over and over again. My point to that is that you bring his popularity down. You have to at least a little bit because the people that didn't like him don't like him even more. And the people that really loved him maybe like him a little less because he's always bugging you at the beginning of every Warzone match. And it's just Call of Duty thought, I think, I think on a personal note that Call of Duty thought, well, he's so popular. He's, he's so beloved. He's such a big character that if we put him in the screen people are gonna love it but they don't read the room like we might love it for a second but don't leave them there forever don't i mean you left them there for months on end i i don't remember when he first got introduced but it's been months 
I'm talking months. People are tired of hearing him. And it hurts his popularity. It hurts his character. That mystique that he had around him kind of just disappears because we see him all the time saying the same shit over and over again. So you brought him back from the dead in MW2. And you kind of finished ruining him in MW3. And then you hurt and killed his reputation in Warzone. And so, like, what the hell are you doing with one of the best characters that you've created in the new era Call of Duty? And to bring it back to the point of him being a cash cow, you didn't even do that correctly. You gave us skin after skin after skin of dumb ass shit that had nothing to do with Call of Duty and all these collabs with all these movies and all these actors and all these musicians. But you couldn't give us a couple skins of Commander Graves? You knew he would have sold. You know he would have been bought by the masses if you would have made a Shadow Company skin with Commander Graves without the goddamn Night Mask. And you would have made more money if you just sold his skin in, in, in different military outfits. You could have done a, a throwback to a Marine outfit and put him in a Marine outfit. You could have done so many different things. You could have literally put him up for sale on the store multiple times, but we never got him. We got him for the season bundle. And then for this last, last month of Call of Duty before Black Ops 6 came out, you guys brought the battle pass back where you could buy him. And then you would get his Shadow Company skin and his regular outfit skin. And one of them has a mask and the other one doesn't. You didn't even put the effort to try to bring in a new Commander Grave skin or to add some accessories or to remove some stuff. And honestly, it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't get why you would mishandle such a great character. You know, for Call of Duty who loves money, who loves all this crap, I would have thought that they would have brought a bunch of more skins for Commander Graves to use. I just think the whole character of Commander Philip Graves of the Shadow Company was grossly misused by Call of Duty. And they potentially ruined one of the best characters they've ever made, point blank, period. And I don't understand why. It felt like a self-sabotage. Why? Why would you want to ruin such a cool thing that you created? <laughs>